Awaken OS 2.4 official build for the POCO F1 is now available and we might, we might just have a perfect Pixel 6 ROM. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and we have Awaken OS official build version 2.4 which of course is based on Android 12 available for the POCO F1. Videos on the previous builds, how to install this on your POCO F1 are linked in the description of the video. The first change you will notice is that the security patch is from February 2022. The kernel they are using is Silver Core from February 8th. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box and they have added support for repainter next up if you go into settings network and internet go into your hotspot and tethering you will notice you have a toggle to enable the clients to use the phone's vpn in case you are using a vpn service on your device next up if you go into apps here and you have something called game settings enable the game dashboard once you do that open any game you will get this arrow on the right hand side tap on this tap on the controller and bam here it is game dashboard in the building and you of course have tiles for all the different options so you have a tile for screenshot you have your screen recorder fps meter in the building the spill you can move it around and it snaps to the edges as well youtube live streaming works like a boss game optimization needs to be enabled by the game developer so unfortunately you cannot enable this explicitly for specific games next up if you go into settings and then you can go into the option of sound herein if you go ahead and try to change your ringtone you will notice that we have no longer access to AOSP sounds because pixel sounds are available and the UI looks pretty dope. Pixel sounds of course are any day better than AOSP sounds. Then we can head over to the display option and here then you will notice that a new feature called icon shape has been added. So yes, this was a feature from Android 11 it is now back in Android 12. We are using the teardrop style right now, but you do have a bunch of different options for your icon shapes then we can head over to the next option which is your display customizations and here and as well you will notice they have added some new options so for starters you have adjusting the brightness by sliding across the status bar bam there it is working like a boss then you have your mic and camera privacy indicators along with your location access indicators so what are these toggles let us go ahead and open the open camera application and here and if I try to record a video you will notice that I am getting a notification that it is being used by open camera which is my camera application now a bug which I have noticed is that for the mic option to appear you have to enable and disable the mic access it does not work right away so that is a bug in this specific build so let us stop the recording and we can go back into the display option display customizations and now we can disable this toggle for mic and camera privacy indicator and now we can go back into the open camera application try to record another video and now you will notice that i am not getting those notifications that camera and microphone are being used even though the quick setting tile is enabled so that is a pretty nifty feature for those of you who do not want those notifications and they have a similar toggle for your location option as well so here it is location access indicator feel free to enable or disable this toggle in case you want to then they have added another option to vibrate on touch so once this toggle is enabled whenever you enable or disable your quick setting tiles you will feel the vibration next new features you will find are in your system and if you go into gestures here in for starters they have added quick tap so you can quick tap on the back to perform a multitude of options whatever you have chosen over here you can of course choose it to open any application as well now this works but it is not perfect you just have to find the sweet spot on the back where you have to double tap then you also have the option to invert your navigation bar layout now for of course this 
to work you do have to be using the three button navigation style and bam there it is you can see that the back and recent switch whenever i enable or disable that option then they have also added another feature called adaptive playback now those of you who do not know this is the feature wherein once you enable this choose your timeout you know if you're listening to a piece of music reduce the volume to zero the music is going to pause and if within the 30 seconds or whatever timeout you have chosen you increase the volume the music is going to resume from wherever it was paused so again a pretty nifty awesome dope feature next up let us talk about the general features so this of course is the google apps build and as you can see pixel launcher in the building select and screenshot working without any issues then with respect to your safety net we are using an application called yet another safety net attestation checker you can see basic is passed cts is passed and everything looks pretty nice over here we can also head over to the google play store and here and we can go into settings about there it is play protect certification says device is certified now with respect to the assistant lady she is there and she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well with respect to your google photos backing up pictures from this pixel is free and unlimited and it works without any issues we can also go ahead and try to edit a picture of my favorite football star over here so tap on edit and then we have to do it one more time so that we get the loading bar and once we get the loading bar then then we should be able to access the portrait light feature all right finally after multiple tries i did get the loading bar and now if i go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building works without any issues of course portrait light is only going to work on human objects it will not work on my chicken friend over here and unfortunately you do not get the feature of magic eraser on this specific build next up let us have a look at the app opening animations to see if there are any lags any jitters in the ui well as you can see app opening animations are pretty smooth recents smooth as well let us try to switch between a few applications again no issues in that regard either everything is pretty smooth and pretty fast let us have a look at the google feed once the content has cached everything is smooth transition from your google feed to home screen is pretty smooth as well and all of these things are absolutely normal for awaken os next up let us talk about the pixel 6 exclusive features so of course with this latest version you do have your game dashboard once you enable it in your game settings it should work without any issues on whatever games you have installed on your device then you also have live translate and it works like a boss with your youtube picture in picture works live caption works live translate works of course for picture in picture you either need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you are not paying for youtube premium next up let us go ahead and check out the recorder application we of course will need to wait for the english us language update to be downloaded and what i'm trying to show you over here is the other pixel 6 exclusive feature which is your live transcript when you are recording so let us go ahead try to record it and it is telling me it is ready to transcribe but there it is omg once the update was downloaded there it is you can see working like a boss super cool super dope super impressive i mean pixel 6 exclusive features working like a boss snapdragon 845 awaken os poco f1 super dope and the next feature which we're going to talk about is when you are sending a message to somebody you're on a voice type yes you do get the new pixel 6 exclusive voice typing as well working like a boss and a few important tips over here is that make sure that your system language is set as english us this is something which is very important to note over here and with respect to your google assistant yes you do have interpreter mode works like a boss absolutely fine no issues to report at all trust me when i tell you this is the awesome the best pixel 6 experience you can get on your poco f1 again the only feature which might be a bit buggy for me personally is quick tap that's it and if that one is improved works perfectly you find the sweet spot on the back where you need to tap you my dear friends are in for an awesome pixel 6 experience on your poco f1
almost three year old device maybe more than three years old at this point of time running like a boss thanks to the awesome developers who bring us all these awesome roms and there it is peeps that is what was new in awaken os official build version 2.4 running like an absolute boss with pixel 6 exclusive features on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.